Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, my name is Uzair Ali and currently I'm working as project coordinator at Baza Echo Health Net Pakistan. On behalf of Baza Trust and Baza Health Net Echo Pakistan, we welcome you all to the to this session uh, of e mental health teaching and training in psychiatry of residence six ses uh, session of series on obsessive compulsive disorder update by uh, Professor Ridwan Taj. Professor Rizwan Taj needs no introduction. I would like to, uh, I wonder if Professor Iqbal of Riji Saab is here or anyone from his team can take over the mic. Uh, Dr. Asad Nizami, can you please uh, take over the mic, please? I think Professor Iqbal of Riji has come over, he's joined, so. Uh, Salaam alaikum, sir, I'm muted, uh, Iqbal of Riji Saab. Uh, sir, you are muted. Hai. I think if you can text kar dein or call, kar dein, I think he is muted. So it would be good if you uh, could start. Uh, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Uh, first of all, I am uh, very thankful to all of you. And uh, as uh, our program has been made, we have been doing this for a long time. Allah Tala has been doing this for a long time. जो कुदरती आफात या मेन में डिजास्टर से उसे बचाए खासो हमारे पाकिस्तान को पूरी दुनिया को और खासो पे जो फ्रंट लाइन पे काम करने वाले डॉक्टर नर्सेस और दूसरे लोग हैं इनको अल्लाह ताहफ़ुस दे और उसको अल्लाह आज़र दे दे सो आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल दैट प्रोफेसर असद इज़ हेयर एंड वी हैव रिनाउंड who is uh, the fellow of the Royal College of Psychiatrists as well as he was the president of Pakistan Psychiatric Society and now he is the dean of the uh, Faculty of Medicine and Allied Discipline in the uh, PIMS Hospital and he has many many other achievements uh, and uh, there are many research papers to his credit so in Rizwan Rizwan Sahib is there? Have you reached? Have you अच्छा फिर इस दौरान में अगर जब तक पहुंचे नहीं हैं लेट मी आल्सो थैंक द एको पीपल वर्किंग इन द एको स्पेशली मिस्टर उज़ैर एंड अदर्स दैट दे हैव एक्सटेंडेड देयर हेल्प टू पाकिस्तान साइकेट्रिक सोसाइटी एंड दिस वेबिनार्स विल हैव इनॉर्मस इम्पैक्ट ऑन द टीचिंग ट्रेनिंग ऑफ द मिजुदीन साहब से सुबह बात हो रही थी कि वो अपने ख्यालात का इजहार करें खास तौर पर ये जो डब्ल्यूएचओ की रिकमेंडेशन वाली मेडिसिन हैं उसके मुकाबले में हमारा इनका क्या एक्सपीरियंस है वो बता दें अस्सलाम वालेकुम एवरीबॉडी दिस इज प्रोफेसर असद इजामी एंड थैंक यू प्रोफेसर अलवाल आफरीदी फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी फॉर कमेंट्स टिल द टाइम प्रोफेसर रिजवान ताज कम्स आई थिंक सिंस दिस इज अ रेजिडेंट्स फोरम so just to update you, a few uh, days back we had uh, interaction with the WHO or I know that at this time, the residents have different departments se calls aati hai of patients who have behavior disturbances. Which are delirium ki wajah se hai, ya they may go into a psychosis and then there are few patients who are depressed also and then there are few patients who would have different kinds of oddities in their behavior. So the question was how to contain them. So WHO की recommendation ये थी कि आप सबसे पहले कोशिश करें psychosocial means को लेकिन हमने उनका update दिया कि there are times कि हमारे patient जो हैं वो even violent और aggressive हो जाते हैं so what to do about it so their recommendation still is कि you should only stick to haloperidol you should not go to other medication but I was just talking to Professor Iqbal Afridi कि ground reality is थोड़ी different है हमारी when we are working within our hospital settings patients do possibly not get contained with the haloperidol. So we are doing two things. One, we are looking into research, which has now started to come over, that what other medication as regards uh, anxiety, as regards depression, as regards psychosis, and as regards delirium, can be useful in our patients. There are a number of guidelines available. So I think Professor Iqbal Afridi has decided that we can do a small multi-center trial in uh, different educational institutions and we will get some evidence based. In the meantime, we will also get some evidence over the published material ke what other choices do we have? Because uh, our patients are different, their difficulties are different. Uh, the number of patients who are coming with grief, abnormal grief reactions, 
सो उसके लिए हमने सोचा है कि वी रन अ स्मॉल ट्रायल एंड आई एम श्योर के वेरी सून वी विल अपडेट यू ऑन द सेम फोरम कि व्हाट हैज बीन द रिजल्ट सो आई एम थैंकफुल फॉर प्रोफेसर इकबाल आफरीदी इज ऑलवेज इनोवेटिव एंड ही ऑलवेज थिंक्स के हमें लोकल लेवल पे भी सर्च करना चाहिए और एनीबॉडी हु हैज इंटरेस्ट इन पॉसिबली गेटिंग इनटू दिस एडवेंचर आई थिंक लेट मी और लेट प्रोफेसर इकबाल आफरीदी नो अबाउट इट थैंक यू आई थिंक जब तक रिजवान ताज साहब आए लेट मी शेयर के वी एट द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ पाकिस्तान साइकेट सोसाइटी विद हेल्प ऑफ प्रोफेसर असद तमीजुद्दीन एंड मुख्तार एंड अदर कॉलीग्स आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन ए वेरी बिग स्टडी विच इज मल्टी सेंटोरियल और पांचों बराजों में हो रही है को फिट स्टडी और उसकी जो है ना उर्दू वर्जन हमने तकरीबन असद साहब ने वहां पे शुरू कर दिया है हमारा भी बन गया है तकरीबन तो हम चाहते हैं कि जो इंग्लिश जुबान में कम्युनिकेट कर सकते हैं वो उसको भरें कोफिट स्टडीज को और मैं दूसरी बात बताना चाह रहा था कि इस प्लेटफॉर्म पे हमने एक बार तो असद तमीजुद्दीन साहब ने मेहरबानी करके जो साइकोलॉजिकल फर्स्ट एड का एक कामयाब प्रोग्राम कराया उसके बाद में दूसरा प्रोग्राम था वो मैंने मेडिकली अनएक्सप्लेन सिम्टम का किया तीसरा प्रोग्राम जो था वो अमेरिका के प्रोफेसर आसिम ने किया जिसमें टच डिप्राइवेशन एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ कोविड कि अगर लोग हाथ नहीं मिला रहे हैं तो क्या उसके असर हैं या, या गले नहीं मिल रहे हैं फिजिकल डिस्टेंस और सोशल डिस्टेंस की वजह से और उसके बाद में हमने प्रोफेसर जो हमारे मोहदत राना साहब ने शानदार किस्म का एक प्रोग्राम किया साइको ट्रामा पे और उसके बाद में एक प्रोग्राम किया हमारे फरीद मिनाज साहब ने और उन्होंने जो है बॉर्डर लाइन पर्सनैलिटी पे बात की और इसके साथ साथ एक प्रोग्राम शायद और हुआ था वो हाँ वकार साहब ने एक प्रोग्राम किया वकार अजीम ने चाइल्ड सेक्रेटरी पे तो आज का जो प्रोग्राम है ओ से रिलेटेड है और आंदा हमारे पाइल प्लाइन में जो प्रोग्राम है वो जिसमें हम यह कि एक बार पाकिस्तान से होगा एक बार बाहर से होगा ये इसलिए है कि हमारे पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट जो कोविड की वजह से स्टडी स्टैंड स्टिल हो गई थी कल हमने कॉलेज ऑफ फिजिशियन सर्जन के प्लेटफॉर्म पे फैकल्टी की मीटिंग भी की और हम प्लान कर रहे हैं कि अगस्त में जो है इम्तिहान शुरू हो और प्लान ए प्लान बी दोनों बना रहे हैं उसको तो मेरे ख्याल में रिजवान साहब पहुंच गए हैं नहीं पहुंचे तो हम इस दौरान में डिस्कस कर लेते हैं कि ओसीडी में क्या क्या सवाल जहन में आ सकते हैं ओसीडी में के मुतालिक क्या क्या सवाल जहन में आ सकते हैं कि इसकी पहले उर्दू क्या हो उर्दू उसको हम डिस्कस कर लेते हैं रिजवान साहब पता नहीं क्यों नहीं पहुंचे फोन कर लेते हैं रिजवान साहब को जरा फोन करें हाँ तो उर्दू क्या होनी चाहिए इसकी आई थिंक अगर रेजिडेंट्स बताना चाहें तो दे कैन स्पीक आउट और दे कैन पुट इट इन द चैट बॉक्स तो आई थिंक ऑर्गेनाइजर्स कम्युनिकेट कर सकेंगे कहा है भैया लिंक नहीं है अच्छा वो कह रहे हैं लिंक हम तो खुद शुरू किया जस्ट करें आप कर ले रेजिडेंट से रिक्वेस्ट है कि वो प्रोग्राम नाम तजवीज करें कि इसको क्या कहा जाए ऑब्सेसिव कंपल्सिव डिसऑर्डर को वहम की बीमारी की जाए वसवसों की बीमारी कहा जाए या जो है इसको बहसो तकरार की बीमारी कहा जाए रेजिडेंट सब अपने आप को अनम्यूट कर सकते हैं अनम्यूट करके बोलिएगा प्लीज उजैर साहब जी सर
तो जहर साहब अगर आप कमेंट्स पढ़ लें फ्रॉम द चैट बॉक्स और अगर आप लाउडली बता दें आई थिंक द ट्रेनिज आर पुटिंग डाउन सम ऑफ द कमेंट्स जी सर ये ज्यादातर लोगों ने वसवसों की बीमारी और बहम की बीमारी अच्छा नहीं उजेर साहब जरा रिजवान ताज साहब वहाँ कनेक्ट नहीं हो रहे हैं उसमें जरा हेल्प करें कि क्या मसला है सर मेरे पास ना उनका कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर है ना ईमेल है अच्छा मैं फिर आपको भेज देता हूँ ये करना पड़ेगा ये तो रजिस्ट्रेशन के लिए नहीं आप जरा एक लिंक रजिस्ट्रेशन पे ही जाके सिर्फ रजिस्ट्रेशन कर लेना तो लिंक उनको ऑटोमेटिकली आ जाएगा उनकी ईमेल पे नहीं अगर हम उसको मुस्तना करा दें कि वो रजिस्टर ना करे तो डायरेक्ट आ सकता है हाँ सर उनको मीटिंग आईडी भेज दें उनको ये प्रोफेसर फ्रीदी साहब मैंने आपकी टीम से पहले भी रिक्वेस्ट की थी कि ये सब्जेक्ट स्पेशलिस्ट आप लोग प्लीज इनको टाइम पे करवा दिया करें नहीं क्या करें हम आई मीन आप जूम भी इंश्योर कर लिया करें कनेक्टिविटी कोई इशू तो नहीं हो रहा है या लिंक्स वगैरह पहुंच गए क्योंकि हमारे पास उनके ई वगैरह नहीं होते आपके सब्जेक्ट स्पेशलिस्ट अच्छा तो आप आप अगर उसका लिंक हमें भेजे की वो रजिस्ट्रेशन के बगैर ही डायरेक्ट आ जाए अच्छा चले मैं आपको भेजता हूँ अभी एक मिनट उजैर आई थिंक इनको मीटिंग आईडी भेजेंगे तो उनको फिर भी रजिस्टर करना पड़ेगा तो आप मीटिंग आईडी दे दें तो ताकि वो रजिस्टर कर लें क्या करें ओके मैम इसको ईमेल पे भेज दें कि मुझे अगर भेज दें ना उसको एक मिनट में उजेर कह देता हूँ प्रॉब्लम क्या है उनको कि आप लोगों ने भेजा था उसको ये रिजवान था उसको इधर भेज दी ये है ये रजिस्ट्रेशन के बगैर अगर हमें भेज दे मीटिंग आईडी आप लिख लीजिए नाइन वन एट नाइन एट वन सॉरी नाइन एट वन एक मिनट में लिख दू रिजवान साहब इज हेयर ओके फाइन अच्छा हाँ डॉक्टर रिजवान साहब कैन यू हियर मी नाउ आवाज आ रही है रिजवान ताज साहब उसके उसका माइक ऑफ है ना उसको बोलना है कि वो माइक माइक जो है को खोल दे वो अब आवाज आ रही है जी जी हाँ ठीक है गुड गुड ठीक है कैन हेयर यू जी जी थैंक यू हाँ सर गुड टू सी यू जान सर कैसे ठीक ठाक प्लीज गो हेड सर वी कैन ऑल हेयर यू चले पहली स्लाइड दिखा दें अस्सलाम वालेकुम आवाज आ रही है असद जी सर आ रही है आपकी आवाज सर आपकी आवाज आ रही है ठीक है अस्सलाम वालेकुम आवाज आ रही है इकबाल साहब आवाज आ रही है सर आपकी आवाज भी आ रही है और स्लाइड भी नजर आ रही है ठीक है अच्छा 
इस तरह है कि हम शुरू करते हैं बिस्मिल रखमान रहीम पी ने ये सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स शुरू किए थे और इसका मकसद ये था कि ये जो हमारे जो ट्रेनिंग के लिए गैप आ रहा है उसको किसी तरह फुलफिल किया जाए एंड दैट वॉज द पर्पज दैट इकबाल अफरीदी साहब वॉन्टेड के कम अज कम जो सारे ट्रेनिंग डिस्टर्ब हुई हैं हर जगह पे डिस्टर्ब है बॉर्ड्स भी डिस्टर्ब हैं तो उसको किसी तरह उस गैप को फिल किया जाए सो आई वॉज गिवन दिस टॉपिक तो इसमें मैं बेसिकली फ्राम ट्रेनिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू टॉपिक्स कवर करूंगा तो ये टॉपिक एज यू नो ओ सी डी इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सकाइट्रिस्ट एंड वी हैव टू नो एवरी ईच एंड एवरी थिंग अबाउट इट सो फॉर ट्रेनिंग आई विल ट्राई टू कवर ऑल दी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट यू नीड टू नो आगे चले नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज अगली स्लाइड प्लीज स्लाइड आगे मूव नहीं कर रही आप इसको स्लाइड शो व्यू में करें आप देखें ये इस पर कोई लगा हुआ है स्लाइड शो व्यू में करें हाँ जी प्रोफेसर रिजवान आप इसको स्लाइड शो पे जाए आप नीचे एक आईकॉन देखेंगे उसमें ये स्लाइड बड़ी हो जाएगी अगर आप नीचे बात पे जाए किस पे जाऊं शेयर स्क्रीन पे हाँ नहीं जहाँ नीचे बार बनी हुई है ना उस पर आप क्लिक करेंगे तो स्लाइड बड़ी हो जाएगी तो फिर आप कर से चलाते रहेंगे तो ये स्लाइड मूव करती रहेंगे चार डॉट्स बने हुए हैं उसके साथ सर एक और आइकॉन है फिर एक और आइकॉन बना हुआ है उसको आप क्लिक करें तो स्लाइड ये एक्सपेंड हो जाएगी से जो रेड रंग की बार है ना आपकी सर स्लाइड्स के नीचे उस पर दिया हुआ है स्लाइड को आप क्लिक करेंगे तो एक्सपेंड हो जाएंगी ये हाँ जी ये वाली हाँ इसको मैंने किया तो है लेकिन ये कुछ क्लिक करें सर इसको क्लिक करें बड़ी हो जाएगी सर स्लाइड नहीं क्या कर रहा है नोट्स आपने इसको एडिटिंग मोड में रखा हुआ है आप नोट्स कमेंट्स वगैरह खत्म करेंगे तो वो आएगा ना ये देखें नहीं अगर ये एफ फाइव दबा दें तो आ जाएगा एफ फाइव दबा दें एफ फाइव एफ फाइव दबाए एफ फाइव अच्छा कर दिया दबा दिया अब आ रहे हैं हमें हमें तो नजर आ रही है सबको पूरी स्लाइड चले मैं रीड तो कर सकता हूँ इसी पे जारी रखें अगर आपको नजर आ रही है सबको तो हम सबको नजर आ रही है बिल्कुल ठीक है अच्छा um, so we start and we have already lost some time, तो मैं जल्दी जल्दी करता हूँ गो थ्रू करता हूँ ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव सीन पेशेंट्स विद ओसीडी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड ऑल ऑफ यू एंड हमारा सारा मकसद क्या है वी शुड बी एबल टू हेल्प दीज पीपल तो इट्स अ सीरियसली डिसेबलिंग इलनेस एंड इट्स मोर डिसेबलिंग in terms of years of disability then uh, multiple sclerosis and parkinsonism this is how bad it is and patient will, will come to you for treatment after years after onset aur wo general hai 10 to 12 years lekin shayad pakistan mein shayad ye isse bhi zyada ho and that is to do with the family and what they are uh, not addressing this issue not understanding it jo pakistan mein jo bahut bada masla hai it's a challenge to treat these individuals it's one of the most difficult clinical problems to manage and it's a challenge to treat them and to be able to manage and sustain that improvement over years so that's how bad it is so uh, in my opinion in terms of clinical practice it is one of the most difficult problems to manage um most of them initially will present to other specialties such as dermatology jisme unko repeated hand washing se उनको स्किन प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है और कोई प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है एंड मोस्ट पेशेंट्स विल हैव डिफिकल्टी लीडिंग अ नॉर्मल लाइफ उनकी हर लाइफ के हर एस्पेक्ट पे इसका असर होगा 
और फॉर यू यंग रिसर्चर्स इट्स अ वेरी गुड एरिया टू डू रिसर्च इन मैंने बहुत स्कैन किया मुझे तकरीबन कोई पेपर पाकिस्तान का नहीं मिला जो मैं समझूं कि इस काबिल था सो इट्स अ गुड एरिया इन पाकिस्तान टू डू रिसर्च इन सो कीप दैट इन माइंड नेक्स्ट लाइक प्लीज टू अंडरस्टैंड ओ ये हमारे ऑब्जेक्टिव हैं आज के ओ सी डी को अंडरस्टैंड करें उसके थोरेटिकल उसके क्लिनिकल एस्पेक्ट टू परफॉर्म प्रैक्टिकल टास्क शॉर्ट टर्म लॉन्ग टर्म केस to be able to dif differentiate between delusion and obsession and to have a well established treatment plan and to know and how to use and recognize the yale brown scale and to remember and assess ke hum suicide risk na bhul jaye ke har case mein personality or depression ko na bhul jaye har case mein jab history le to know the prognostic factors and to know the recent updates ye hamare goals hain next please next please acha it's a disorder which includes intrusive thoughts rituals preoccupation so it's a combination of a lot of uh, symptoms jisme rituals bhi hain thoughts bhi hain uh, compulsions bhi hain so it's a combination of thoughts and behavior jo different forms mein aati hain and they cause serious distress to the person and are time consuming and interfere significantly with the person's normal routine occupational functioning social activities and relationship so basically the whole life of the person is affected and that is why these patients are quite disabled because every sphere of life that they go into is affected so themes is ki ye hain dirt and contamination aggression orderliness illness sex religion जो कॉमनेस थीम्स हैं वो कंटेमिनेशन और डर्ट से रिलेटेड है एंड सेकंड नंबर पे एग्रेशन से रिलेटेड है सो दीज आर द कॉमनेस थीम्स ऑफ ऑब्सेशन बेस्ड ऑन दोस काइंड ऑफ ऑब्सेशन द पर्सन विल एक्ट एंड विल ट्राई टू ऑर्गेनाइज हिज लाइफ अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज थॉट्स व्हिच आर सीरियसली डिसरप्टेड नेक्स्ट प्लीज सो द मोस्ट कॉमन कंपल्शन आर द चेकिंग रिचुअल्स दरवाजों को देखना रात को उठ के जाना खिड़कियां चेक करना ये करना गाड़ी को देखना बार बार जाके कि मैंने लॉक किया या नहीं किया इस तरह की रिचुअल्स हैं चेकिंग रिचुअल्स हैं क्लीनिंग रिचुअल्स हैं साफ नहीं हुआ ये नहीं हुआ वो नहीं हुआ काउंटिंग रिचुअल्स हैं एक से दस काउंट करना है दस से वापस एक काउंट करना है दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी ड्रेसिंग रिचुअल्स हैं कि एक खास तरीके से मैंने ड्रेसअप करना है उसमें दे कुड टेक वन टू टू आवर्स जस्ट टू गेट अप एंड ड्रेस गेट ड्रेस इन द मॉर्निंग Um, <clears throat> इसके अलावा जो रिलीजियस एलिमेंट uh, है वो भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जिसमें हमारे मुसलमानों के लिए है कि वो स्टार्टिंग विद वजू दे विल से कि मैंने वजू ठीक से नहीं किया आई नीड टू डू इट अगेन दे माइट डू इट थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी टाइम्स अगेन सेम फॉर द रकत दे विल से मैंने शायद इस रकत में ये गलती कर दी है और उसकी वजह से मैं दोबारा दोबारा पढ़ू सेम फॉर द कुरान के मैंने सूर्य यासीन पढ़ी है मेरे से गलती हुई है आई नीड टू गो बैक स्टार्ट अगेन so this is some of the content that you will see in pakistan next please um so it's a combination of different uh, symptoms rumination train of thoughts and the important thing is that the patient feels that they are inappropriate and nonsensical and they attempt to dispel or dismiss the unwelcome thoughts and urges and may lead to severe struggle with intense anxiety so the person especially in the early phases tries to resist them he recognizes them ki they are abnormal and they are disturbing him and he tries to resist them and this these symptoms and this what i'm saying is important because that is what will differentiate it from psychosis and delusions next please so the person is actually trapped in his thoughts and his feelings and his emotions and his behavior and he is extremely disturbed and distressed it's so disturbing that when i talk to a patient i feel distressed ke how is this person living with this so this is how bad it is next please what the patient will tell you words ideas beliefs recognize the, as the patient as their own again a important point hai ke they are his own ideas they are forcibly pushed into his mind and he tries to resist them by excluding them and he uh, he has an inner sense of compulsion and he feels he is going mad next please and these points again differentiated from delusions so delusion ke sath ye difference hai a delusion is a fixed false belief 
which is not open to argument or evidence whereas uh, obsession isme ye sari cheeze intrusiveness hai senselessness ki thoughts hai resistance hai ye sari delusions mein nahi hoti hai and the the thoughts are followed by compulsion jo delusion mein nahi hoti hai. and then the insight part is also there in most cases of obsessional thoughts there is uh, insight into it and the person recognizes them as abnormal and needs help for them whereas in delusion the person feels that he is absolutely right in believing in these thoughts so ye sare points hain jo isko delusion se differentiate karte hain and for trainees this is extremely important that they should be able to know this next please so what is the difference between phobic anxiety and obsessional phobia so phobic anxiety is a series of problem jisme social phobia jahan pe interaction ka problem hota hai jisme specific phobia jisme snake ka ho gaya spider ka ho gaya jisme agrophobia which is the commonest of the phobia which is of close spaces so us situation or object ki fear hai jiski wajah se anxiety paida hoti hai and usko avoidance aati hai that is what phobic anxiety is but obsessional phobia the person is fearful that in certain situations he might cause harm to others like if a knife is present in the kitchen she, the mother might think that she will harm her children so this is the difference between a phobic anxiety and obsessional phobia next please diagnosis um, as you know the category is uh, uh, they are come and at the moment they are under the anxiety disorder but probably this problem is more severe than all the anxiety disorders and also the etiology is also different whereas the anxiety disorder the amygdala is involved in this case the corpus striatum is involved so us wajah se i i uh, this is going to fall into a separate category in the future so uh, icd 10 ke mutabik you need a two week period so if you have symptoms for two weeks then you can diagnose safely and there is considerable distress and interference with the person's thinking next please and dsm mein ye hai ke unhone 1 hour ka time diya hua so in a day 1 hour significant distress and in symptoms you can diagnose as um, ocd and there is impairment in social and occupational function and not due to substance misuse or any other brain disease next please so the effects on the life of the person at the peak of his age are devastating his personal relationships are affected ghar mein jo taluqat hain uske apne bhai behan se apne maa baap se because he is so trapped in his symptoms that he can't function normally and he becomes very irritating for the family and they actually they are very upset and this affects his relationships he can't have comfortable relationship from our point of view it's so important because if we don't involve the family in the treatment we will not be able to succeed so personal relationships are very important and this has consequences for his marital life as well most of them will not get married and if they get married there is a high chance of divorce as well because it is very difficult to live with these people so you need to understand how difficult and important and affecting this illness is so work related functionality as you know uh it's not easy to uh for a, such a person to function under normal circumstances his productivity and his functionality is reduced so um uh, we i feel that especially in private jobs nobody will tolerate ke ye aadmi jo hai apne rituals mein phasa hua hai aur ye kaams ka time zaya kar raha hai so he is likely to lose his job so i see a lot of government servants who come to us with ocd and we try to help them and we try to maintain their jobs as much as possible giving them some leverage taaki wo if i think the worst thing that can happen is they can sit at home and be completely preoccupied with their uh, with their uh, obsessions so it's better if they are working and they are uh, they have distraction in terms of their work and um, that is important for their prognosis and their well being so you must always think uh, when you see a person you will try to help him and you will not tell him ke wo work chhod de balki wo work mein uh, apne aap ko adjust karne ki koshish kare and uh, he must uh, try to maintain his job and marital consequences ka maine bata diya most of them will try not to get married and even if they get married they will have difficulty maintaining that marriage next please comorbids 
again very important so what this means is these are the questions that you will take in the history वैसे तो मैं कह रहा हूं कि ये बड़ा डिफिकल्ट प्रॉब्लम है बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू वंस यू नो द पर्सन इज हैज ओसीडी इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर यू टू टेक द हिस्ट्री एंड टेक आउट अ मैनेजमेंट प्लान बिकॉज़ इट इज अ वेरी प्रिसाइज हिस्ट्री दैट ही विल गिव यू एंड देयर विल बी अ प्रिसाइज ट्रीटमेंट प्लान दैट यू विल वर्क आउट सो इट्स एक्चुअली इजी टू डील विद अ केस इन अ एग्जाम सिचुएशन बट दीस आर द थिंग्स यू हैव टू आस्क डिप्रेशन इज सो क्लोजली लिंक्ड टू दिस कि 60% ऑफ द पर्संस विल गो ऑन टू डेवलप डिप्रेशन and again uh, on the other side uh, in depression ocd symptoms are very common as well more common than ocd itself so you must ask about depression you must ask about general anxiety disorder you must ask about social phobia when you take this treat you must ask about substance misuse so in our circumstances the person uh, may be using such, such as cannabis to relieve his symptoms to get some temporary relief for benzodiazepine or something like that you must ask about substance misuse and in young girls you must ask about the possibility of an associated eating disorder and then the last but not the least personality disorder so you must be on the lookout for a if if the person is at the age where he is gone in, uh, away from adulthood and is in his late 20s or early 30s you must keep a lookout whether what kind of personality is so these are basically the points that you have to take in the history और एक मैंने आपको पॉइंट सुसाइडलिटी का बताया था कि वो आपने जरूर हिस्ट्री में पूछना है दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो एज ऑफ एम सेट अराउंड ट्वेंटी कैन स्टार्ट एट द एज ऑफ फोर टू फाइव इयर्स एंड द अर्लियर इट गोज द बैड इट इज द वर्स्ट द प्रोग्नोसिस बट अराउंड ट्वेंटी वेन द पर्सन इज एट द पीक ऑफ इज लाइफ बट एज आई एक्सप्लेन द फैमिली विल लिव ये तो जी सफाई पसंद है ये वो है दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग and they will probably present 10 12 13 14 15 years later to the doctor by that time your work will be definitely cut out and very difficult for them so uh, onset after 35 is very rare maybe less than 10% and gender wise equal distribution except in early ages if the onset is in the age of 4 5 6 7 8 8 there is a male predominance but otherwise gender uh, disturbance uh, distribution is equal so keep this in mind it strikes like most psychiatric disorder at the peak of the illness next please psychometric tools you must know the yale brown scale you must understand it and you must use it and it's very easy to use and that is the scale that's going on it's validated in pakistan everything is okay with it but thode se naam aapko baki scales ke bhi aane chahiye the brief obsessive compulsive scale ho gaya the florida obsessive compulsive inventory hogi the vancouver ocd inventory तो ये स्केल्स हैं जो आपने एग्जाम सिचुएशन में अगर आपसे पूछा जाए तो यू मस्ट टेल देम एट द सेम टाइम इसमें आप सुसाइड इंटेंट स्केल भी डाल सकते हैं यू कैन इफ यू वांट एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स यू कैन से दैट बिकॉज दैट वुड बी रेलेवेंट इन दिस केस एज वेल आगे चलें अंडर वन परसेंट एट एनी टाइम प्रेवलेंस ठीक है इट्स नॉट अ वेरी कॉमन डिसऑर्डर सेम प्रेवलेंस एज से स्किजोफ्रीनिया ठीक है so in 2 to percent uh, lifetime prevalence uh, lifetime prevalence 2 to 3 percent which is quite a high percentage so it is the fourth most common mental disorder after depression after anxiety after substance misuse this comes as the fourth most common mental disorder and sub threshold symptoms are more common so symptoms not qualifying for a diagnosis of ocd but being there in uh, say depression jaise maine kaha ke there are more symptoms of ocd in depression as compared to in ocd itself so sub threshold symptoms are very much there and need to be addressed um ye maine baat kar li dobara ke ocd theek hai next please defense mechanism the two common defense mechanism is reaction formation and magic undoing so react reaction formation basically means that the person has ideas of dirt and everything and in reaction to that as a opposite reaction he goes for hand washing मैजिक अंडूइंग का मतलब ये कि वो एक खास मैजिक मैजिकल थिंकिंग प्रोड्यूस करता है इसे इसके इफ आई डू दिस 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 देन दिस विल हैपन व्हिच हैज नो लिंक विद ईच अदर सो ही थिंक्स अ सर्टेन वे दैट इफ आई डू दिस इफ आई डू कंप्लीट दिस रिचुअल दिस विल हैपन दिस विल हैपन दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग व्हिच इज कॉल्ड मैजिक अंडूइंग नेक्स्ट प्लीज सो व्हाइल असेसिंग व्हाट इज द मोस्ट प्रोबब्ली इन्वॉल्व्ड area in the brain 
Is it the corticostriatal thalamus loop? Is it the HPA axis? Is it the mesial limbic system? Is it the nigrostriatal dopamine pathway? Is it the tubo infrangular? So this is a question for you. Next, please. Genetics, very important. Uh, family studies, twin studies, very clear evidence that it, this problem has some genetic basis. Has a gene been identified? No, it's such a complex phenomena of multiple symptoms. It is unlikely that a single gene will be identified soon. And it's the same with schizophrenia and everywhere else where we have really uh, been a lot of research in genetics, but nothing solid has come out. And again, we know about serotonin system. This is a disorder which specifically responds to the serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And that is the main evidence for the serotonin system being involved. And there's some uh, evidence that uh, uh, there's disturbance in the metabolite of uh, serotonin, that is 5-hydroxyenrol acetic acid in the CSF. And then there is this long list of uh, um, organic brain disorders, which is link hai. Tourette syndrome is both close link. Hai. You might have OCD with a history of Tourette syndrome. And tics is a very common problem, secondary problem with OCD as well. Then you've got an encaphylitis lethargica, which is an infection of the brain, and then you've seen that patients develop um, OCD symptoms. So you need to know this. These, these are the questions that have come up and are in the literature all the time. Then you have Sydenham scoria. So any pathology involving the basal ganglia, uh, you are likely to have OCD symptoms as well, including Huntington scoria and Sydenham scoria. Then you have also a question in the PANDAS exam, like pediatric autoimmune neuroleptic disorders. And this is basically a streptococcal infection, and its link is also OCD symptoms. And probably the infection penetrates the corpus striatum, which is because of it. And then post-head injury, you have a greater than normal chance of developing OCD symptoms post-head injury. Next, please. So uh, the question was, which system is involved? And it's the include, increased glutamate signaling in the prefrontal cortex leading to thalamic inhibition and a positive feedback loop back to the cortex, resulting in repetitive thoughts and behavior. Now, the research that is going on is on scanning. So it's the scanning, uh, detailed scanning from magnetic resonance to PET scanning. And all these have shown increased blood flow to the frontal prefrontal cortex and along with all these areas are affected. Next, please. And this is the diagram of the uh, whole feedback loop system where all these three areas involved. And if you look at the green area, which is the corpus striatum, uh, if you've heard about deep brain stimulation, which is only the major change in the treatment that has helped very chronic bad OCD patients, deep brain stimulation. So they actually put an electrode in the green area that you see over there, the corpus striatum, and somehow interrupt the loop of signaling, which helps the patient. And I have not seen any patient who has actually benefited from this, but I have seen many reports of videos and uh, uh, documentaries of patients who have been helped with this. So abhi to Pakistan mein ye Lahore mein ho raha hai, lekin uh, it's uh, very much uh, under investigation in Germany, UK, America, and uh, I have seen videos where intractable OCD has responded to these electrodes. Next, please. Recent advances. Achha, um, I was been scanning a lot of papers. So, the uh, important thing is that this eventually will come out to be a neuropsychiatric organic problem. Um, so, the meta-analysis of 780 brain scans by Fauci et al., uh, there is a issue of uh, cortical thinning and uh, um, this this unmedicated patients may which is the cortex becomes thin in the frontal right right pre central right posterior cingulate and bilateral middle temporal gyrus there is also a decreased volume in the hippocampus the amygdala is not involved which is the basis of the anxiety disorder so uh, so you need to understand that this could be a disorder different from the anxiety disorder. Next, please. Another one, uh, anti-basal ganglia antibodies. 
present in primary OCD uh, in significant numbers, again showing that the basal ganglia are the important area involved in this disorder. Next, please. Psychosis and OCD. Again, it fascinates me that some of the OCD patients, in fact, patients I see who are probably at the severe end, a large number of them develop psychotic symptom. So uh, I was surprised to learn that this has been recognized for the past 100 years, that OCD patients develop psychotic symptoms. And the development of psychotic symptoms, uh, this is the latest review article, July 2020, you can have a look into that. Uh, it, it results in bad prognosis, high suicidality, low functioning, and it is as high as 24%. This is the latest review study. Next, please. Um, difference of OCD symptoms across culture, age, and gender. Uh, so what I was doing was I was trying to scan that what Muslims may OCD ke symptoms jo ye keh rahe hain ki aggression impul aggressive impulses or cleaning cleanliness natural zyada hai to kya muslim religion mein religious um, element ka role hai ya nahi hai ya zyada hai but unfortunately i couldn't find any study jisme iska ho so this is one area that needs to be researched in so um, this is the latest july 2020 ki study hai isme inhone across the continents a study uh, review came of 94 studies and they couldn't find any difference in the symptoms in terms of culture gender age the only thing they found was that sex, sexual obsessions are more common in males so i think uh, this is a research area that pps can take over or some some brilliant researcher a young researcher among us, us can take over where we can look at practicing muslims how they present with OCD and what kind of, what role does the religion have and the religious ritual have in their OCD. So this study, I request that you take a look at this area that we can review. I think it would be a very nice study to do. Next, please. Um, <clears throat> ben, uh, there are a lot of work on uh, treatment lot of papers on treatment so this is the last paper and again it's the same thing um, you need to give a combination of treatment pharmacotherapy versus uh, with CBT and that will help the symptoms that will improve the depression that will improve the functioning that will improve the quality of life so basic consensus you need to give both and it will really help the patient and you will be able to sort out the problem as much as possible. Next, please. Next, please. Again, frequently asked in the exams, the step K model kya hai, OCD ka and how will you implement it? So ye is ki basic uh, um, steps hai, and you, this is basically a UK model jaha pe, as you know, the primary care services are very well developed. Uh, UK ne pishle 20 saal mein, from the time of Margaret Thatcher, they had a focus on primary care. They saw that we have to hospital in the patient and it is very expensive and it is very costly. So they had a lot of invest in primary care structure. The Pakistan government has also this initiative. They haven't yet succeeded, but they are trying to create in Islamabad a model primary care setup in which they have made six centers. Now, when this is the corona, hai, so it's gone into a mess. Uh, so, but this is the step K model. Unfortunately, uh, because of the slide size, I can't see it, but basically it starts with education and basic counseling and then moves on to the primary care setup and then moves on to the basic therapy involving the primary care team. The primary care teams are attached with community psychiatric nurses, community social worker, and they are responsible for this. And the GP knows what basic treatment to give. They are trained that way because mm -hmm. there GPs ko, unko ek khas se training ki jati hai, jisme unka psychiatry ka rotation bhi hota hai. So slowly you progress on to the uh, team, community multidisciplinary team, jo 0.5 hai, or then uh, last you go on to the inpatient care, which is the most expensive part of the uh, problem. So uh, I am sorry, I can't read this because it's very small, but I think probably where we see the patients are four and five step pay. 
So because we don't have these uh, um, community mental health team, we don't have the community psychiatric nurse, वो तो वहाँ पे उन्होंने OCD के specialist बनाए हुए हैं जो actually इसी से deal करते हैं. So uh, we are lacking in that. So all the burden falls on the psychiatrist and the psychologist. Next, please. Again, I can't read this, but generally, uh, it's the same thing uh, that how to proceed. You start off with basic counseling and basic CBT, and then if it doesn't work out, you go on and add an antidepressant, and if it doesn't work out, you go on and move to the um, uh, specialized psychiatric team. Next, please. <clears throat> again, same. Uh, I actually can't. I'm sorry, I can't read it, but. Again, the list of people who are responsible for this, uh, the GP, the community psychiatric nurse, the so social worker, the behavior therapist, the specialized OCD person, if you have one, uh, the psychiatrist, the psychologist, who will be a stepwise uh, model may available. Hai. And eventually, the person is going to end up with a multidisciplinary team where everybody combines uh, UK the team meets once a week and they evaluate the progress and they decide the treat the psychiatrist decides the treatment plan and they are given the task whatever the situation might be. Next please. So medication um, uh, again as I said the evidence that serotonin is involved is because of the SSRIs and because of clomipramine which is again specific serotonin reuptake inhibitor and uh, uh, these drugs we will eventually end up using and certainly the patients who end up with us are not well. They are quite uh, at stage four or five. We will definitely be able to uh, need to give medication and uh, um, just uh, clomipramine is a very, very old anti-tricyclic antidepressant. Uh, it has serious side effects. You need to be very worried, be very worried about and alert about the anticholinergic part of the side effects and you need to be very careful about prescribing in people who are elderly. So maybe you might need to give anxiolytic for the short term and low dose antipsychotics in advanced disorder. Next, please. So medication may, you start with this SRI. If you do not respond, you go on to the another one. So the start is with the adequate dose and uh, um, adequate dose and <coughs> duration. Uh, the duration would be six to eight weeks uh, and the dose would be depending on the type of use acetylopram, paroxetine, whatever the dose. It would be slightly, it would be higher than the antidepressant dose. And if the patient does not respond, you can augment it with something else uh, like an atypical antipsychotic or switch to the TCA if the patient is able to tolerate it. Next, please. Psychological approach, again, very important. Uh, this should and always be part of the treatment. Uh, the psychoeducation is the start of the problem, uh, the, the exposure and response prevention. You must know how to do it and you must practice how to do it. And behavior treatment of thought stopping for obsessional recurrent thoughts, CBT. And again, family therapy and education, so important, so crucial. Um, if you don't involve the family, the patient will not do well. You must always remember that. So uh, this is the basic core of the CBT and every trainee must know this. And I was glad uh, Dr. Bashir ne CBT ka course Pishar mein launch kiya. So uh, all of you uh, need to understand, you need to help your patients more. So you need to know about CBT and you need to be able to practice CBT. So it's not just for OCD, it's for depression as well and many other disorders. So three to five sessions for uh, fully uh, entrenched OCD, you need to have three to five sessions a week for three to five weeks. Each session may last up to one to two hours. Yes, ka breakdown the hour, 15 minutes for review of previous session and homework, 49 to 45 to 90 minutes for exposure and response prevention, 15 minutes for setting homework. And <clears throat> ideally, when a symptom is addressed, there should be 100% compliance with therapy. Uh, and uh, otherwise, the therapy work will be undermined. Um, and then there can be follow-up booster maintenance sessions. So uh, the trainees must know this and must be able to uh, pinpoint that these are the steps of CBT. <clears throat> Again, this is the same repetition of the same. Next, please.
So this is the widely um, uh, acceptable treatment. Uh, you start, you create a hierarchy of anxiety producing uh, exposure situations. You start with the least anxiety provoking and you stop that behavior. And then you go on to the next step. Uh, and it should uh, slowly, slowly over a period of months and weeks, it should work out. Next, please. And you look at the triggers and you try to make sure that the triggers are not there. Um, uh, and exposure over a period of time leads to less anxiety and at the same time you train them to be relaxed and you give them verbal assurance and persuasion not to indulge in the obsession in the compulsions next please patients tend to resist the compulsions to perform are eventually able to stop engaging in these behaviors. Now, uh, if the person follows these rules and, uh, and follows the program, the compulsions can be reduced to a very large extent. Now, the question is that how to in engage the person and make him uh, comply with the exercises or pro uh, the program that you have laid out. And there you need the family support. So if the family is there, they are supportive and they're able to encourage the patient to practice the uh, program that has been laid out, you will, the person will definitely do well. Next, please. Um, co co common difficulties, non-compliance patient, doesn't come, uh, he doesn't follow the instruction because if he doesn't do it uh, at home, it will not work out. So he has to practice at home so that uh, he can work it out. And he, there could be passive avoidance. He doesn't want to in, indulge in it and he quietly avoids being involved in it. And he starts arguing about the exposure response pre prevention requirement. Again, not a good sign that you're going to be successful. And there is other problems at home. There's emotional overload, there's marital discord, there's problems of relationships at home. There are other emotional issues which are impairing the progress of the person. So these are the problems that will not make the person not do well with the exposure and response prevention. And then the family problem. If the family is reacting negatively, are aggressive, are not understanding, which is a big problem in Pakistan of such a complex problem, then uh, it's unlikely that ERP will succeed. Next, please. So uh, again, I have mentioned deep brain stimulation. I think this is the probably patient who's intractable OCD and is not responding to any help of any kind, including medication and whatever uh, behavior program that you have laid out. So this is a way out and this can help. In this case, it's not without side effects. Epilepsy is one of them and hemorrhage is the second one. But it's certainly a safe method where you don't need to do surgery. The electrode is uh, is is lodged in the corpus striatum, and iske uh, as you know, uh, the most of the patients of intractable Parkinsonism are being referred for DS, DBT. So, वहाँ पे लाहौर में सेंटर है वहाँ पे ये लोग करते हैं अमेरिका से डॉक्टर्स आते हैं वो करते हैं. Then uh, TMS has certain role, uh, especially in the mood part. If there's a consistent mood element, and same for ECT. And again, neurosurgery ka bhi ek role tha, uh, ek mein. But I hardly ever hear of anyone going for neurosurgery. And it's a very complicated way that you can go for it. And it's a problem zyada ho sakte hai, ke ke you give relief to the person. Next, please. Bad prognosis. You must know the prognostic factor around your fingertips. So uh, early childhood onset, bad prognosis. Giving in to compulsions regularly, bad prognosis. Severe symptom requiring hospitalization, bad prognosis. Comorbid other psychiatric disorder, depression, psychosis, whatever. Social phobia, substance misuse, bad prognosis. Presence of psychotic symptoms, bad prognosis. Having a background personality disorder, such as a schizotypal personality, bad prognosis. Poor response or non adherence to treatment, bad prognosis. Duration of untreated illness. So, the more you leave it, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 years, not months, not weeks, years, 
the duration of untreated illness bad prognosis longer the duration bad prognosis family not cooperating not interested not understanding which is very common in pakistan as we have seen with your uh, corona situation bad prognosis next please good prognosis good social adjustment where the family is cooperative he has a good social circle friends are cooperative everybody is understanding uh, good social adjustment overall good prognosis good occupation adjustment as i have already said if the person should keep his job and it will be beneficial from a treatment point of view not from any other point of view but from a treatment point of view so agar uski occupational adjustment ho jati hai so we will all be in a better position to help him so uh, in practice uh, if he is in some kind of a private job they will probably not let him continue again i have seen it all the time to main bhi abhi ke last socha tha to main socha tha ke ye log jo hain wo best in ke liye occupation pia ka pilot bharti ho jayegi so they'll be very doing very well uh, good response and adherence to treatment uh, yes if the there's a good response and they adhere to treatment then they will do well then episodic nature of illness you have symptoms they disappear for a while and they come back good prognosis and again we come back to the family family interest uh, they can work out very well the family is understanding the family is cooperative the family is keeping you informed the family is monitoring the family is helping the cbt the family is helping the compliance to medication the person will definitely do well next please okay <clears throat> um meri afridi sahab se discussion hui to wo humne kaha tha ki ye jo program hai ye sara uh, uh, jo hai more for the help of the trainees hai and afridi sahab is was bilkul right ke we have already been discussing covid and its effects and we've discussed it so many times that uh, i think we need to distract ourselves and think about the routine psychiatric practice now there is no there is no uh, doubt that covid has uh, created difficulties for all psychiatric patients not just those ocd but all psychiatric patients their relapse and their symptoms will and are being affected but at the same time uh, we need not pathologize the situation it uh, covid doesn't mean that the patient the nation is turning into a psychiatric uh case load jo zyada ho gaya no so a general distress stress hai wo everybody's it is acceptable for people to understand and have distress and it's not just the covid it's the overall economic situation and lots of other problems that keep on cropping up and of course it's the media as well which is really making the population more distressed starting with ke aaj itni amwaat ho gayi and then aaj chini ko ye ho gaya then PIA ko ye ho gaya then uh, whatever the bad news that you know, terrorist attack ho gaya so the media is really disturbing the population mentally but we psychiatrists should not attempt to pathologize the situation uh, but definitely is ki psychiatric patients ki sensitivity pe ek cost hai uh, they will have more uh, aggravated symptoms and they will have more uh, chances of relapse and number 3 there is a issue of medication as well so all the time we hear ki ji falani je chatral mein idhar udhar patients hain aur unki treatment jo psychosis ki thi ya schizophrenia ki wo interrupt ho gayi hai and they haven't been able to get the medication from there so these are the problems that we uh, need to see and look aage chale ji to uh, ocd ka bhi yahi hai um, i am not going to go into detail but basically it means ke because of the uh, pathology psychopathology of covid that it's related to cleanliness and prevention of uh, covid spread by hand washing and repeated hand washing so that feeds into the pathology of psychopathology of ocd so there's a higher chance that uh, ocd patients will take that on board and they will uh, their symptoms will be exaggerated and again um, and they will and then the second part is the fear part where they will be extremely fearful that they will infect others and they will 
keep that circulating that in their mind that they are a source of infection for their family for their children whoever is at home so that kind of fears can overplay in an ocd patients aage chale yeah ye wohi baat kar raha hai jo i have already said next please so what can you do i think it's better that you explain it to the family explain it to them that uh, this is a temporary phenomena the person will uh, will be able to sort out the problem the phase will be over and he will go back to his normal routine and you need to watch out that he doesn't uh, his symptoms do not get aggravated because of the covid situation and he should above all stop discussing covid and stop Uh, himself from uh, looking at news and uh, social media coverage on of covid especially it's important for the general population but especially important for the ocd patient to be uh, away from these kind of uh, news whatever situation may be next please Uh, is saying the same thing here or, or information overload near much next please um <clears throat> and in this situation if you feel your symptoms are getting worse and you are unable to control your urges cleanliness urges then you need to go to your doctor and seek advice and assurance and help i think i think that's probably the last slide ठीक है आई थिंक समबडी मैंशन मैंने वैसे ही कमेंट एक आध देखा था तो उसमें वो उसने चाइल्ड सेक्शुअल अब्यूज के बारे में कहा था एब्सोलूटली पॉइंट इट्स एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ एवरी साइकैट्रिक हिस्ट्री नॉट जस्ट ओ सी डी एवरी साइकैट्रिक हिस्ट्री सो द स्टडी दैट केम आउट आई एम नॉट श्योर इट वॉज अयर बैक और टू ईयर्स बैक जिसमें उसने तीन टाइप्स ऑफ एडवर्स चाइल्डहुड कंडीशन को एड्रेस किया था जिसमें इमोशनल अब्यूज था फिजिकल अब्यूज था और सेक्शुअल अब्यूज था सो उसमें सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट इमोशनल अब्यूज था और सेकेंड नंबर पे फिजिकल एंड सेक्शुअल अब्यूज था सो इमोशनल अब्यूज अब्यूज ऑफ ऑल काइंड सो इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर ओ सी डी एंड फॉर ऑल साइकैटिक डिसऑर्डर एंड अगेन वी मस्ट नॉट मिस इन द हिस्ट्री एंड वी मस्ट नॉट आस्क वी मस्ट आस्क द पेशेंट अबाउट दैट एंड ये जो पेपर है ये मुझे इस वक्त उसका रेफरेंस भूल गया बट यू ऑल नीड टू नो about this paper it's a very very important paper about adverse childhood conditions um somebody asked about prognosis how to explain prognosis um it's basically you the family is a partner in your treatment plan and in your understanding of the problem for the patient you have to explain the family each and every part of the illness you have to uh, explain each and every part of the treatment and you have to explain each and every step of the treatment that you will take in the next few uh, uh, next few uh, weeks months whatever and as i have keep on mentioning uh, our families are good in this let's not um, dismiss that as compared to the west our family um, are better than the west western families so it's just a matter of us explaining to them us being able to getting the message across to them so um again important that family ko hum involve kare unko ek ek cheez bataye aur unki help le so it's generally ye hota hai you have a family members so usme ek person jo hai wo alert aur active zyada hota hai और वो ज्यादा हेल्पफुल होता है सो यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन और उसी से करें समबडी जस्ट पुट अ नोट के पंद्रह कैन द सिम्टम बी ट्रांसमिटेड टू द चाइल्ड यस द चाइल्ड कैन कॉपी द मदर बट दैट डजेंट मीन इज गोइंग टू डेवलप ओ सी डी इज जस्ट बी कॉपिंग और मॉडलिंग इज मदर इट डजेंट नेसेसरी मीन दैट इज गोइंग टू डेवलप ओ सी डी इन द फ्यूचर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन one of the family members has uh, bilkul absolutely i agree one of the family member has to adopt role of co-therapist maine aapko bataya hai aapne usko identify karna hai ki wo kaun sa family member hai jo aapko help kar sakta hai is tarah ki situation mein 
तो उसको आपने आइडेंटिफाई करना है और उसको इन्वॉल्व करना है डज द सिम्टम कंपल्सन गेट वर्स विद एज येस दे कैन इट्स अ लॉन्ग टर्म क्रॉनिक प्रॉब्लम एंड इट्स नॉट जस्ट गोइंग टू फिजल आउट जस्ट लाइक दैट उसकी मैं प्रोग्नोसिस आपको बता देता हूँ on one hand you have the worst prognosis that is 10 to 15% on one hand, on the other side you have the good prognosis that is again 10 to 15% and in between you have the mid range 40 50 60% where they might do well and might improve to certain extent but may have residual symptoms um one of the family does the symptom can they get okay ocd requires separate treatment in case of comorbidity if yes then how far we can go like in bipolar affective disorder um <clears throat> what will happen is the most likely situation is that you have a patient with bipolar illness and he or she develops some ocd symptoms so certainly uh, you need to be careful and deal with the primary problem first and there's a possibility that the pro- secondary ocd symptoms might dissipate with that but in case they don't then you can address it but you have, in case of bipolar you know to be very careful as you know about the ssris are notorious for triggering a bipolar manic episode so you need to be very careful about that so probably uh, the behavior therapy would be the treatment of choice choice living with untreated ocd is painful for family members sometimes uh, would it be correct if the attendant or sorry would it be correct to uh, or caretaker aapne card diye isko sorry niche kar de main pad raha tha usko Uh, if a person refuses treatment uh, in term agar aap west mein honge to aap kuch bhi nahi kar sakte there are specific very strict laws if the patient doesn't accept medication if the patient doesn't accept treatment you can do nothing about it the only situation that you can do something about it is if the person's life is at risk suicidality zyada hai or he is a harm to others those are the two situations where you can jump in and help with the help of the family hum sab ka is afridi sahab ne bhi sin ka mental health law kiya hua sara usme sari details diye in that situation you can definitely help the person can moderate ocd patient be managed with cbt alone yes absolutely it can be uh, definitely it can be managed if you can properly implement cbt nothing like it better to have it on your side and if you the person uh, responds to it nothing as wonderful as that acha do uh, ocd patients may turn into schizophrenia if yes how many percent are there any predictor for that okay um i spoke to you about uh, psychotic symptoms um the the, the percentage of uh, schizophrenia is where 1 1% in the population psychotic symptoms are there but do they develop schizophrenia hardly ever and uh, you need not need not worry about that but you definitely need to worry about the psychotic symptoms jo maine aapko figure batayi hai wo 24% hai jo is mahine ki study aayi hai usne review article hai usne nikala hai 24% um of olanzapine help with ocd symptom they have been observed with patient with schizophrenia what is your clinical experience about it right um the medication that i have most used in terms of the antipsychotics the recommended are the a typical ones uh, the one i have used mostly is the risperidone uh, in some cases olanzapine also has been helpful uh, but it depends on your choice the patient's tolerability affordability uh, and you can definitely use olanzapine if you feel it's much uh, uh, better we uh, we occasionally see patients with current uh, psychotic and ocd symptoms how to manage in such case so as i've said uh, you need to start an antipsychotic uh, no second thoughts about that and the person he or she will be helped a person has ocd along with manic uh, say attacks so the manic attack is an emergency it's a serious matter and you need to deal with that first so that means first stopping the ssri that you are giving the person managing the manic episode and then in the future looking at what is left of those ocd symptoms and being very very careful about prescribing the ssris uh, can covid be the risk factor for development of ocd okay uh, very important point can ocd be the, uh, can covid be the risk factor for development of ocd um, it's too early to say at this moment i think maybe in a year or two years down the road we'll come up with studies where they'll say okay 
पहले नहीं था कोविड हुआ उसके बाद इसको ओसीडी डेवलप हुआ बट इट्स नॉट जस्ट ओसीडी दैट इज अ रिस्क फैक्टर फॉर कोविड ऑल साइकेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम्स बिकॉज इट्स अ वायरल इलनेस एंड रिमेंबर ऑल वायरल इलनेसेस हैव अ साइकेट्रिक साइड लाइन हेपेटाइटिस को ले लें फ्लू को ले लें हर्पीज को ले लें डिप्रेशन एंजाइटी सब में साइड इफेक्ट मौजूद है सो सेम गोज फॉर कोविड सो इफ सम हाउ द कोविड वायरस पेनिट्रेट्स द कॉर्पस ट्राइटम डेफिनेटली यू गेट ओसीडी सिम्टम्स यूर व्यू अबाउट ईसीडी एज अ ट्रीटर ऑप्शन एंड डिफ्रैक्टिव ओसीडी नॉट वेरी गुड the depression part will be cured but as far as ocd is concerned i haven't really found it of much sir can ocd with psychosis has the same management as of psychosis yes absolutely uh, but you will try as you are already giving ocd treatment and medication you will try to be very uh, conservative in your treatment uh, prescription and you will try to use safe lighter antipsychotic medication over to you professor afridi if there are no questions for the questions sir ke abhi time zara ho gaya sir main wo kar do uh we are glad to hearing uh, our worthy presenter professor rezwan ali taj and we are also thrilled and honored to having president fps professor dr mahmud iqbal afridi he will be presenting the digital certificate of appreciation to rezwan ali taj so please before that uh, i am very thankful uh, professor rizwan taj for giving such a comprehensive talk uh, covering all aspect biological psychological and social and the uh, pharmacological and non pharmacological therapeutic interventions and i am also thankful that uh, professor asad tamizuddin is here and uh, there are 95 people are on the uh, zoom but we in our ward has uh, डन एन अरेंजमेंट कि दो एल ईडी लगाई है और एक एल ईडी पे लोग जो है इधर अंदर बैठे हुए तो वो जब जरूरत से ज्यादा लोग आते हैं इसमें बाहर वाली एल ईडी पे देखते हैं तो एक ही जूम वाले लाइन पे हमारे कई लोग जो है इसमें मुंसलिक हैं सो अब इस प्रोग्राम की हमने एक वो बनाई है कि डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेशन देते हैं और वो रुजवान ताज साहब के लिए तालियां और हम सब शुक्र गुजार हैं कि उन्होंने टाइम स्पेर किया Thank you, Doctor Fidi, and thank you, Asad, for joining in. Ah, uh, so ah, we will be. Ah, no, ah, the Asad Sir, you want to say something, sir? Yeah, I think I am very thankful for Professor Zwanta. It's always a pleasure hearing to you. Or I think I was looking at the comments. That your lecture was very holistic. So it was uh, obviously engaging each and every aspect, starting from the genetics and then the psychosocial issues, from etiology to pathology. and i think the questions obviously gives an impact that how people are interested in knowing more and more about ocd i think the best part was about the recent advances and i think uh, professor bala fidi is here we always stress our residents that please do not only restrain yourself to mostly guidelines and nice guidelines i think do go over to research because in all your examinations people do ask you questions this is in the college criteria that what are the research advances i'm happy that there are so many recent advances and i am sure that students will get a lot of benefit thank you for uh, that na, thank you very much now i'll request uh, professor uh, miam mukhtar lak azimi for giving his comments he is present he is a uh, secretary general of uh, not only of the pakistan psychiatric society but also uh, the college of physicians surgeon faculty awaz apni mic khol de mic nahi hai khuli थैंक यू वेरी मच सर एंड आई एम थैंकफुल टू प्रोफेसर रिजवान साहब कि वो उन्होंने अपनी अवेलेबिलिटी करवाई है उनके काफी सारे काम हैं और आई आई मीन आई एम रियली अमेज्ड आई मीन आई एम थैंकफुल टू यू बेसिकली यू आर द डीन ऑफ जेपीएमसी यू आर द डीन ऑफ पैथोलॉजी ऑफ फिजिशियन एंड सर्जन पीपीएस को भी संभाल रहे हैं यू आर स्टिल आई मीन ये जितने भी वीकली एक्टिविटीज होती यू आर द फर्स्ट टू ओपन इट so i mean really blessed to have you and uh, you would like to request ke ye jo spiritual forum banaya hai aapne pps ki taraf se to ye kaim rahe aur ye chalta rahe i mean it's all for the benefit of the residents at the end i am very thankful to all the participant and i hope uh, you enjoy the talk 
and uh, hope we will uh, come with a new uh, subject next month uh, next week and this the speaker will be from outside of the country uh, so uh, till that uh, thanks to all of you allah hafiz bahut shukriya aap sabka thank you aur khas taur par mujhe jo hai na ye shukriya ada karna hai eko pe uzair sahab ka aur team parsa trust ke aur shukriya ki unhone ye hame ye सहूलत दी बहुत शुक्रिया थैंक यू और इसके साथ साथ मैं ये भी बताता चलूँ कि हमारा ये प्रोग्राम जो अरेंज कर रहे हैं हर बार पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट की टीम होती है इस बार की जो टीम थी वो खुद ही अपने नाम बता के एक इसमें अयूब डॉक्टर अयूब हैं डॉक्टर मनीषा हैं और इसके अलावा जो है रचना दर्शना और साथ साथ जो है ये डॉक्टर आलिया इन सबके लिए तालियां बहुत शुक्रिया Shukriya, sir. At the end, we are very thankful to Chaudhry Sohail Sahib, who is uh, director Parsa Health Net Eco Pakistan. Uh, Dr. Asad, the Baruch Hussain Sahib, Dr. Zishan Ali, uh, Junejo from JPMC, Dr. Amna Askar, Dr. Bushra Ali, Mrs. Kiran, who is our uh, project administrator, Haris, who is the IT person behind all this project, and uh, Suleiman. and the most important announcement is ke aaj raat 10 baje professor afridi sahab ki talk hai uska link humne pps ke group mein share kar diya hai wo bhi aur kuch logo ko emails bhi kiye hain maine to wo bhi aap logo se request hai ke usme bhi aap shamooliyat ikhtiyar kare bahut shukriya thank you allah hafiz thank you very much bahut shukriya